Today is a very special day for us. Our good friend Chase Widmer from Kentucky surprised me with this present. This is a tiger shovel nose, spotted tiger shovel nose. Pseudoplatystoma chorus, coruscans. It looks to be a true, true fish, not the hybrid sometimes called, uh, called and sold as spotted tiger shovel nose. This came from Rodrigo and Kevin from Predatory Fins. Thank you guys so very much. It's a very expensive fish actually. So Chase really humbled me with it. And all my years in the hobby, I've never came across one for sale except, uh, I think Rodrigo brought him once before, if I'm not mistaken, two years ago. That's the only time I I saw them on his website for sale. I never see them in person. This is the first time I see this fish in person. And it's actually a gift from my good friend Chase. This is the biggest uh, growing species of tiger shovel nose. Their champion pictures look to be like five to six foot. As opposed to usual three, three and a half, two and a half to three and a half for the rest of the species. So we're gonna, it's already fully acclimated. And it's ready to go into its new tank. It's one of my dream fish, one of, one of the fish I had my wish list for 15 years. I'm very grateful to Chase for fulfilling my dream. I hope God will help me keep this fish and raise it to a large size. Because I'm gonna need help for sure. Things can happen. Sometimes things you cannot even predict or expect. Looks perfect to me. Um, I'm about 99% sure this is the correct species ID. This fish is a strong match to one of the juvenile Coruscans specimen, the photo of which I have from Brazil, found by another member on Monster Fish Keepers. We're gonna put him in your tank. I'm gonna use this sock for transferring. And he's gonna go into, into this 2400 gallon. I think it's the best match for it. There's only some peacock bass in there, five peacock bass. Three silver awana. West African. Longfish, clown knife, and a tigrinus in here, apart from the big pleco. It's a good match, I think, for starters at least, in terms of the tank mates not bothering Tiger Shovel Nose and Tiger Shovel Nose not trying to, not being able to, to swallow or eat tank mates, even though this. Peacock bass are a little small, but I think they're still a little too big for for the for the tiggy. He's about one foot. And also, another reason is that uh, the feeding dynamics in this tank would allow him to learn new f food items on the menu, to recognize them and take them because it doesn't get eaten up 
instantaneously as in many other tanks. Okay, so this is my this is not a pillowcase, this is a this is a sock. I'm gonna try and put them in there and see how if I've never done this before with the sock, so maybe it's too small. We're gonna try. I don't wanna put them in the in the net because usually their spines they spread them out and they start doing the death roll in them or rolling around and thrashing violently in a net and they usually break off and damage their fins real bad especially the pectoral fins so that's what I'm trying to avoid by using the sock And it looks like he can he may get stuck in the sock even worse than in a, in a net. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. His very tips of the pectoral fins are broken off, so they're not that sharp. Well, I guess I'll try again. Okay, I'm just use a, I'm gonna use a big pillowcase. This is not working out as well as I'd like. Worked much, much better. Okay, sweetie. Of course, the biggest growing are the females. So, if this is a male, it'll probably not break three feet. Maybe four. Is the females that grow to five six?
I don't know if it's me or whether you th tell me your com in the comments tell me your opinion but his tail looks to be a bit uh, angled up the tail the peduncle under the anal fin maybe this is normal for them I don't know it looks slightly bit unusual to my eye because they're usually as straight as arrow this probably came from a farm in uh, Argentina or Uruguay or somewhere there I doubt this is a wild caught fish so really would hate for it to be uh, deformed cull from a farm but it may be, who knows his breathing is nice and slow and, and not too fast especially taken it into account that he's been just acclimated and put in a new tank beautiful spots on him unfortunately they're gonna go smaller with age more of them and finer right now they're spectacular Okay, we'll let him calm down and check on him a little later.